Hey everybody, it's Bill DeRosa from Talking Finger, and this is going to be part one of two of our video series on how to use LinkedIn. What we're going to do in this part one is learn how to optimize your profile so that when people search for you on Google or search for you within uh, LinkedIn itself, they'll be able to find you immediately. You'll be up near the top of the rankings for your name. As well, what we want to do is we want to optimize your profile so that if people is, are searching for a specific person who does a certain thing for a living, they find them. For example, uh, social media marketing is what I do for a living. So if people were searching for somebody in that field uh, for social media marketing, they would be able to find me up near the top. And that goes for any industry. If you own a printing company, uh, if you're an attorney, pretty much anything you could think of, we can optimize your profile so that you could come up right up near the top of the ranking. So let's go ahead and get started and see how that's done. Now, one of the best benefits for optimizing your LinkedIn profile is showing up very high in search results on Google and things like that. So I'm going to pop this in here, William DeRosa, and automatically pulls up here. Now, just so you can see, I'm in Connecticut. I even put in Beverly Hills, California, so I'm not doing any kind of local search, but you'll see, I always lose out to this cellist guy. Um, but you'll see William DeRosa profiles LinkedIn. And there I am right on the top. So out of all the William DeRoses there are who are on LinkedIn, I come in first right here, which is a huge benefit. If people are actually searching for you, they can get your result right away right here. Now, besides Google, people also search for people on LinkedIn. Now, I'm not logged into LinkedIn at all here, but you'll see search for someone by name, William DeRosa. Click go. And again, I come up at the top of the search engines right here, the search engine on LinkedIn. So it's powerful stuff when you really need to get found on Google and, of course, on LinkedIn here as well. Now, one of the other great benefits about optimizing your profile correctly with keywords and such about the industry you want to be found in is if I search for people here and I'm looking for somebody who does social media marketing, you'll notice I come up on the first page. Now this is equal to your website being ranked on the first page. People typically will only look at the first page, maybe the second if they can't find exactly what they're looking for. But to appear here in uh, a market that is, is pretty crowded on LinkedIn, there's a lot of social media marketing agencies and people and things like that. So to be found on the first page of it is uh, really, really good. So for your industry, your goal is to try and get to page one or two. So when people are searching for uh, people in this industry here that they connect, can connect with uh, or do business with, you appear here. So how do you optimize your LinkedIn profile? Well, whatever industry, it works like keywords and such for websites, whatever industry you want to be found in, that needs to appear as many times as possible in your profile. So you'll see current social media marketing, principle of talking finger, talking finger, social media marketing, development strategy. I mentioned it here that I'm the principal of share your fan page. I put it here from when I used to work at another company. Things like that, continually adding it. And if I go down here, same thing, you'll have a specialties area. Use as many of the keywords as you possibly can. It doesn't matter how many you use, uh, but you want to continue using whatever industry it is. So if you're a printer or an attorney, things like that, you, you want to mention as many things as keywords as possible. You'll see I put it here. Now, one of the other things you can do is if I click here, You'll see that I actually added some at the end of this description of my profile. I just randomly put in some of these social media marketing. Um, it, you know, it, it's just another way for people or the search engines within LinkedIn to find out people who are in this industry. Go back to my profile here. So you want to add it here. You want to add it into your specialties. You want to try and use it as many times as possible. If you have a reason that you can use it, you pop it in there. Same thing you hear with skills, okay? I'm gonna edit the skills. When you add skills, use as many different terms as you possibly can. Uh, you have 50 skills, so I use as many as social media marketing skills as possible so the search engines would pick up on that as well. Cancel out of here. Now, in your case, you probably don't have to put anywhere near as many terms within your profiles I had to. Social media marketing happens to be uh, one of the largest growing segments on LinkedIn, so there's a huge amount of competition right now 
uh, pretty much everybody is putting this in their profile. So I had to go a little overboard with, you can see here, I put it a lot of different times because I really need to be found because it is my main industry and my main occupation. Uh, in fact, it's my only one. So I really had to go overboard. The funny thing is, and I'm going to actually search trade show displays. Now in my profile, you notice I only mentioned trade show displays a couple of times, but here I am. Now this is a, is a field that isn't as competitive to be found in. So without even much mention of trade show displays, um, I'm, I'm right here because it's not as crowded of a space. So you'll have to just determine within your own space of how many terms you want to put in there. And it's simple. You just simply type in the aspect you want to be found in. Let me post, uh, let me just do it this way, sorry. You just type in the aspect that you are, or the industry that you want to be found in, go here, and then just look for yourself. And you'll see here I am here, but if I didn't appear on page one, I would just simply go to the next one, look for myself, etc. All right? And that's what you would do. So if you find that you're at page five, for example, finally, and you're listed in here, then what you need to do is go back to your profile and just add it a couple more times. Put in social media marketing, whatever your industry is, add it a couple more times, and then go back and then search again to see where you now rank. LinkedIn ranks pretty quickly in real time. So as you make changes, you will see your ranking go up almost immediately. Next, I want to show you how you can kind of determine how many keywords that you have to put in your profile to be found. Now, I told you earlier, social media marketing, I had to put it in my profile over and over. And there's a reason why I'm going to show you that. But what I want you to pay attention to now is in my profile, you see trade show displays here. And you'll also see it down here, trade show displays. And I think it's in one or two other places in my profile. But where this is going to become important now, and put in social media marketing, show you this first. 600,000 results basically for social media marketing. And here I am down in eighth place in this. So just keep that number in mind. And now I'm going to put in trade show displays. Now remember, I only had it a few times in my profile. And here I am in second place for trade show displays. But keep, look at this only 12,000 results. The other one had 600,000. So just by putting it in a few times on my profile, I got to be ranked high because there's not a lot of competition with those keywords. So when you're talking about ones that are really large, like social media marketing or whatever you put up here, look at your results up here. And that's going to determine, like I said, how many times you should put it in there. So if you're in the hundreds of thousands, you're going to have to put it in there a lot. So this will conclude part one of two of our video series on utilizing LinkedIn. In the next video, we'll cover how to get into and utilize the groups and how to add plugins to your profile like this Twitter feed right here. In the meantime, if you have any kind of questions, comments, or if you want to engage with us, the best place to do that is on our Facebook page. It's facebook.com forward slash talking finger. Or of course, you can comment or post below this video over there. But thank you very much for watching and look out for part two.